Hello chemists, this is Ms. Placino and you are watching um, a lab demonstration video on lab number eight, a kinetic study. In this lab we're going to use six molar hydrochloric acid and an acid tablets to study the rate of a reaction. Um, in the acid tablet, I don't know how well you can see that, but there is 500 milligrams or 0.500 grams of active ingredient. You're going to use this 6 molar hydrochloric acid to prepare either a 2, 3, or 4 molar hydrochloric acid by performing a dilution. Um, you're then going to share your solution with your neighbors so that you don't have to prep all three of those. All right, so the setup for the lab is really, really simple. Um, you are going to uh, use your three-prong clamp and your utility clamp. I uh, get those clamped together and attach that to a ring stand. We want to use the ring stand uh, to help support our Erlenmeyer flask. It is really easy for this thing to fall over when the setup is finished, and you don't want you know the acid and spilling all over the place. Uh, that's a gas collection syringe and we're going to use that, as the name suggests, to collect the gas. Um, I'm going to add a tablet. I don't need to weigh it because I know the mass of active ingredient. It's 0.500 grams of calcium carbonate. And I'll use the 4.0 molar solution of HCl. You're going to need about 15 milliliters. Uh, don't go crazy making sure that it's exact, but be pretty consistent. Once you've got that measured, Make sure you're capping solutions, um, and you're going to measure the temperature. So we've got the digital thermometers, turn it on, make sure it's measuring in degrees Celsius, and just get that sitting in the uh, graduated cylinder of acid. All right, so here's our gas collection tube. Ooh, this one's going to be kind of tough. Um, you can have the plunger move up and down on the syringe itself. Um, as the gas is produced, the plunger will move out. Um, you've got a rubber stopper at the end. You really don't want to twist that around. That's bad. Um, you're going to unthread it, and then the gas is going to escape, and you're going to be stuck doing this again and again. So when you get your plunger, move it up, uh, your syringe, excuse me, move the plunger a couple of times. Um, make sure that it's sliding pretty easily. And you can see that it is marked off um, every 10 milliliters. So when you go to measure with this instrument, if it only measures to the tens place, what place should you estimate to? Hopefully you're thinking the ones. I've given my thermometer, uh, my temperature, excuse me, a chance to equilibrate. I'm going to quickly uh, pour my acid and then put the syringe on top of it. You might want to put the acid in there first and then get the tablet in. All right, so I'm going to secure it. This is time zero. All right, I might need to move the plunger just a little bit. And every 10 seconds, I'm going to push the plunger down a little to try to overcome friction. And you can see that it's bounced back up. At the 15 second mark, I'm going to record the volume of gas in that syringe. I'm going to keep going. Okay, another, um, every 15 seconds I'm measuring it. Make sure that's in there tightly. At the 10 second mark, I'll push down. You can see that it bounces back up as the gas is produced and keeps moving the plunger. There you go. 10 second mark, press down. 15 second mark, record. Obviously I can't get that one because the numbers are facing you. 10 second mark, push down. 15 second mark, record. Uh, when you record, you don't want to measure um, like, a, like where the tip of the um, plunger is. You want to measure from um, like where the plunger is in contact with the barrel of the syringe. That's that idea. Every 10 seconds, press down. The pressure of the gas should cause, uh, I should say, the volume of the gas is going to expand. You're going to let that go for about five minutes and then cut it off unless it reaches its end point sooner. Um, you'll be able to calculate a theoretical yield for this, so you'll have an idea of how much gas you should produce. You're going to repeat this very experiment a bunch of different times. Uh, we're going to do a concentration study. I'm still trying to get it to move. This one's going a little bit on the slow side. You might have to like swirl the solution from time to time to get it uh, to go. But we're going to do three different concentrations, the uh, four molar, three molar, and two molar. Um, we're also going to do a temperature study. So you can think about how could I change the temperature of the system. And then we're going to do one independent study where you and your lab partner will investigate a factor that affects the rate of a reaction. 
you will have a couple of failed trials. Again, not the end of the world. Um, just do it again. You'll know it's a failed trial because gases are being produced and you are not really able to uh, collect them in the syringe. Don't get frustrated. Just dump it out, set it up, and do it again. All right, that about does it for today. Hope that you found this helpful.